entrance antiphon. Let us sing to the Lord, for he has gloriously triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to straighten the camera, brothers and sisters. Our days are crooked enough. <laughs> I think that's a little better. Just wanted to have a message out to our healthcare workers, our parishes, Holy Family and Sacred Heart are, are praying especially for our healthcare workers at this time. We know in our county, our numbers are, are, are you know, still growing and uh, they're bearing the brunt of a lot of the stress. I know many who haven't seen their families in a month um, in some that even are going home within the home, being distance in different rooms, and it's it's uh, got to be a heavy burden. And we're praying for them especially. We pray for our heroes, and I just hope they truly know how much they are appreciated. Preparing ourselves for this Mass, where we pray for one another, where we pray that the Lord will lift us up, we call to mind his mercy. Lord Jesus, Lord of mercy, Lord have, have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, comfort of souls, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it so fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Having page troubles today. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road that goes from down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is the queen of Ethiopia, in charge of her entire treasury who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was now returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. So Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, do you understand what you are reading? And he replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, as a lamb before its shearers is silent. So he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is this prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, look, there is water. 
What is to prevent my being baptized? And he ordered the chariot to stop. And Philip and the eunuch both went down to the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azutus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The, God, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was at the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refuses me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. seems to me this beautiful treatise on Jesus the bread of life is more than just about bread alone it is about how Jesus gives himself to us in the Eucharist not just as bread but as his very presence and it is about this life and the next how important it is for us to hear the Easter message of eternal life with God. How important it is for us to remember that we will one day have life with the Lord forever and there we will be all together again when our, all our times are complete. But in the meantime, Jesus gives us his presence not just as a bread for heaven, but a bread from heaven so that his presence is with us now. We count on that presence to protect us to protect all people. We count on that presence to guide us, to be with us, to comfort us. And sometimes that comfort is precisely in the face of death. That's what Easter is. It is about God's joy conquering death and giving us the promise that he is with us now and forever and ever. Certainly, we pray for those working so hard to keep our people safe. Certainly, we pray for our doctors, nurses, and surgeons, and therapists, and for that matter, the people who are working to feed and care for and clean up 
um, in our hospitals, how they have worked so hard. And they are about life. But at the same time, they're the ones that encounter those moments when families move into grieving. And how important it is for us to be this Easter people, the kind of Easter people that remind each other that, that God is with us in this life, but he's also ultimately there to bring us to eternal life. And that those moments, as sad as they are, when we say goodbye to our loved ones for a time, are moments where we need to be filled with hope just as much. I think sometimes our healthcare workers need to hear that too. You, you don't, we don't fail for the, in this. Jesus doesn't fail. We either find our healing here, and with God's help, we're able to do miracles. And when that cannot be, it must be that it is that person's time. And there, too, we have a message of hope, the message of heaven, the message of Jesus risen, the message that death will not have the last word. We will do our part, and Jesus will do his part. We pray for all of you. We pray for our families. We pray for the strength and courage that you must have in this time. We pray that we, uh, as a people, will grow in our understanding of God's love and protection. So far, our nation and our, our counties have, have done well compared to what we thought we would have to deal with. That is because of the efforts of so many heroes and so many on every level. We pray for each other. We pray for you. But when our Lord draws us home, can we be such a people that we are still filled with hope and love, that we hear the promise Jesus tells us today, that he is Lord of heaven and earth, and that his nourishment is one that carries us to heaven. Lord Jesus, Lord of heaven and earth, bless and protect us on our journey. Let us be filled with the kind of faith that would trust in you through death to resurrection, through our life on a journey toward you in heaven. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Indeed, we pray for our health care workers for whom this Mass is offered, for all those working so hard for their families, for all the sacrifices made that a great reward will come. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, for the families worried about them, for those who have died from this disease, and for those who have died natural causes or by accidents, that together we are unified in our knowledge that heaven will heal all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the researchers, for those working hard for treatments and cures and in all that would, it would take to get us back to work and back to a normal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those working for a vaccine, we need that that process go smoothly and, and timely for us. We pray to the Lord. Pray for all those who need hope for the depressed and the lonely. We pray to the Lord. And of course, we pray for our beloved dead, that they find the joy of heaven in Jesus, who is our nourishment, the bread of life, the bread of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus, our Redeemer, help us to be filled with courage, strength, and charity in this time where we care for one another. Help us to see this journey together to the end. And with your help and the Holy Spirit, come to that end with solutions and cures so that a true joy may be celebrated now and forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to we ask you to receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with these gifts we offer you in sacrifice, with humble and with contrite hearts. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it our own by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. In Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of the light rise to eternal life. And the halls of the heavenly banquet are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with St. Pius V, and with all the apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we have the privilege to pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body and drink your blood. May it never bring us condemnation, but only health of mind, body, and soul. Receive us and receive the spiritual communions of so many who long to receive you, the bread of life. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you, sh you should come under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Communion Antiphon. Christ died for all, that those who live may no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to a newness of Easter life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.